Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I've got a big hole here. So this is the Guardian Farm. Let me show you what's going on. So we got bits up here, bits down here. Let's finish the collection system first. So yeah, the whole floor is hoppers. It's a little bit crazy. It was an awful lot of iron, but it's hoppers. So let's finish this off and because uh, I've only got a few rows left. Okay, so last hopper, boop. Now I just gotta put in these. So I have, I put these uh, seed lanterns all around the edge and because they're next to half slabs, they're not actually gonna provide any light, but since these are all half slabs, nothing can spawn on top of them anyway. So the, uh, the seed lanterns are really here just so you can kind of see things, see where the edges are and uh because it looks kind of cool so let me get these all in boop all done look at this okay i screwed up a couple things you can see them falling boop 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 and that is like five percent of the farm right there when i get all the water in it's going to be raining like crazy okay so let's see what we got here we got so hoppers and stuff. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to get some stuff. So I want to test those last four lines. And honestly, they'll probably never actually get many drops because I've got, they're actually underneath an area that's not, you know, not spawnable. But the guardians will fall a bit to the side and their drops will scatter a little bit, <clears throat> a little bit. So let's, uh, let's do this. So I'm going to throw a couple things in here, throw one unique thing in each of these that's not already in the chest over there and pop and we'll go take a look and see if they make it through all the way if they do that means i i, I hooked all the hoppers up correctly uh the bad thing would be if one of the hoppers was pointing down and and therefore would not pass along its stuff to the next hopper so let's see what we get and it takes a bit because it's got to go through 120-ish hoppers to get all the way here, but we get to see all the drops and I get to make more sea lanterns with all these things. That's pretty cool. Okay, anytime now. And there are my drops. That's what I threw in. It's interesting they came out of order, but that must mean some of the ones in between are, 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 are backing up. So, let's grab all this stuff. Wow, okay. And the fish I don't really need. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with that later. So, next step. So, next step is I have to finish building the, uh, the actual spawning structure here. I built the top, I laid out the top, and then I need to come in and do this bit here. Uh, so, this is, uh, I'll show you what we got going on here. We've got these little two by four cells and then at the junctions between them, we've got a single cell uh, open on the top and bottom. And then here, the sides are completely solid. And what I need to do is I need to just go fill all this in. Boop, one, two, three, four. And that one, there's no junction there, but there is here. So, So I have to go and do this, break that, and then break this one. I'm gonna lose some of those, but that's okay. All right, so let me take care of all this and we will be back with you. Okay, so now, assuming I did that all correctly, I've got all my, all my chambers done so I can actually take out some of these. Boop. 
All right, all done. So let me pick up one of the glass I can recover. So next, I need all of the fence gates. So fence gates are a pain in the butt because they have to be placed on top of a solid block. So I've got to place, oh, hey guys. Uh, so I have to place blocks underneath these, see I need fence gates underneath these four blocks here. And do I need, I get confused. Can I put one in here as well? Uh, I think I can, but I haven't. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, so I need to remove some glass here. Boop. So I've got, I can put one in there, put some in there. Okay, so here's, here's the process here. It's a little bit tedious, right? And then I can put one underneath here, so put one here. And then here, this one is a little bit narrower so there's only so it's not it's not a two by four it's only two by three and then i can place the the fence gates and open them up right and you have to you can't open them through another fence gate even if that fence gate is open <laughs> so boop 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 open them up put down these whoops missed one open those up good now with them open the guardians can fall through them of course but the water can't so i take out these blocks yeah and the cool thing about having a floor full of hoppers below me is that they all get picked up i don't i don't end up losing any of these blocks not that i have any shortage of stone but there we go so those are done so now i just need to do the rest of these Look at them go. Okay, so when you get all done, you can look down the rows and see that they're all open, except for the, the single ones here, but we'll check for that elsewhere. So let me clean all this up and we'll do the next step. While we are cleaning up platforms, let me go ahead and take care of this. So this was the first solid platform I put, put in at the right height in order to start laying in my uh, the top of the spawning area. We don't need it anymore. We, uh, we're we gonna surround the entire spawning area with leaves. And uh, so I still need this spot for the ladder at the moment, but we'll get rid of that eventually. So, next thing is spawning. We need to put in some water. And I need some one more thing. Hang on a sec. Okay, so the spawning chambers are right here. Now, I've got a couple of buckets on me. I also have an infinite water source over there. But I wanted to try something. Because putting in water is a little bit tricky, right? Because you need... Um, if you want water source blocks to sort of show up, you need to have something below the water. Why are you not spreading? Oh, there you go. That was weird. And if I do this, okay, and then in theory, I can take out this dirt. And now the water goes down, right? And it goes down to the fence gates. And this becomes a spawnable spawnable water now because it has access to the sky it doesn't spawn super efficiently so what we need to do is cover it up so that it does not have water, uh, sky access oops so that is now a good spawning area yeah so we're gonna do so that worked with the dirt oops uh oh Huh, my network just got a little bit dodgy. All right, so let's finish this off. I don't need you, All right? So we'll go and put water and water, fill up and fill up and put water there, fill up and then put water in the corner. There we go, perfect. 
Now I'll take out the source blocks. And I chose dirt because the shovel will get rid of it quickly, but it won't uh, quickly break the glass. So I, I don't accidentally destroy my spawning chambers. There we go. Now I'm carefully only covering the spawning chambers themselves, but um, I'm not sure I may, I'm probably going to end up covering the whole, the whole area, but that's, that'll be more decorative. It won't be, it won't be necessary for functionality. So, so we can leave, leave that for another time. So let me get, take care of this and uh, we get another row of uh, spawning chambers set up here and then we'll see how that does uh, how that does with the, uh, the spawning rights. Okay, last bucket on this row, and cover it up. Let's go check our work. Okay, so all the water's up there, it's not uh, flowing down. And oh yeah, it definitely increased the, uh, the yield here a bit, bit. that's good. What I want to see is make sure that something's actually spawning in one of the single block ones. They should be. Oh, I think that one. I think that guy just did. Very good. Oh, so exciting. Okay, I'm not going to put water in the rest of them just yet because this is going to be a little distracting to have these guys falling like this while I'm working. But uh, this is pretty good. So I'll be able to get materials. See how this looks at night? This is really cool. Uh, I'll be able to get materials uh, for the next bit, which is I need to build the uh, the AFK room and the sorting system. And I think I'm going to put the AFK room down here. One of the problems, though, is that there's lava behind this wall. There's like a, a lake of lava. So we need to do something about that. And uh, so I put this up here, what I thought was going to be lava level. It turns out it was just a little high, but obsidian, this is this used to be lava. So I think there's more lava over there. And I think this is like all below me here is all lava. So I'm gonna have to go through the process of digging this out. It's gonna be a pain in the butt, uh, but it needs to be done. So we're gonna do something first. Yeah. Okay, I think this is probably about halfway, right? A loop. <laughs> I haven't seen it from outside here yet. Okay, so we need a little bit of help with the digging, especially with the uh, obsidian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we'll do this. I think this will work. One. Hey, hey, hey. Ugh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? Oh man. Um, nine and then seven. Then yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so we'll go one, two, three, four. Oh, this is going to be perfect. And then we'll go four here. One, two, three, four. So we're going to put a beacon outside here. Um, should go up through the water. And it'll actually get down to the area where we're digging. We're not going to dig up into this gravel. That's not the plan. So it should be fine out here. And so we can get ourselves some haste effects. And it should reach the side here. If I put it up above where I would normally be inclined to put it, it doesn't reach down to the bottom layers where I'll be digging. That's no good, so we'll do this. So let me uh, get this in, and we'll light it up, and then we'll start seeing what we got. All 
right, here's our beacon. Let's, oops, let's put it in the right place. And it'll work better. Wow. Um, put it in the right place. Boop, and it's turned on, very nice. And we wanna do haste to put in that and pop. Nice, okay, so that should work for us down where we need to dig. So let's get back up there and see what we need next. Look at this, guys. Oh, this is so awesome. Um, they're just raining down everywhere. This is very cool. When I get this all lit, this is like, I don't know, 5%, somewhere 5, 10% of the, of the spawning spaces of the farm. So it's going to be crazy constant shower of guardians once I put all the water in but I do want to do some work over here first I'd like to get at least to start on the uh, the AFK room and the sorting system and not have to worry about these things constantly falling and bothering me at least from if it's all over there I won't be able to hear it when I'm over here even though it'll still be happening ostensibly might be a little far away down here from that stuff, but you'll be able to come out here and, and sort of keep the whole farm active. It'll be pretty crazy. So, um, so yeah, now that I've got the haste beacon set up, I can start digging in down here. And this is gonna be a lot of tedious work. It's roughly the middle here. But yeah, so we're gonna just have to go through and, and, and remove all this obsidian and and get rid of all the lava but i think i'm going to call it there i'm going to get to work on this and oh haste yes very nice um so there we go i hope that was interesting um i think that's all i didn't really have much else to show i've just been i've been working on this kind of like crazy um and it's taking a lot of time but I need to continue I need to get this part worked out I don't know how wide I'm gonna make this I it might be um, I probably will dig it out wider than I need uh oh yeah I'll probably dig it out wider than I need and then cover up some of it back up um, but we'll uh, We'll figure it out as I go along. So I think that's it. And I guess the other part is, it may, it may be occurring to you that I have no way of turning the farm off. And that is absolutely correct. I have no way of turning the farm off, but we're, we're out here. We're uh, 6,000 blocks away from spawn. Uh, there's no, this isn't gonna bother anyone unless they come out here specifically to be at the farm. So I think that'll be fine. I, I don't see, didn't see the need to put in all the crazy redstone and, and dispensers and all that. I craft, I think I crafted all the dispensers I would need, but uh, I can use those somewhere else. Um, I have a lot of buckets that I crafted as well. Um, so I've, I've got those for, again, somewhere else. But I think for the time being, um, I think this will work just the way it is and uh, passive collection system so I don't need all of the mine carts going all over the place all the time and I don't know we'll uh, we'll figure out um, obviously I have the the collection system is in place I just have to from here uh, instead of this going into a chest look at that it's full um, with instead of having this going to a chest it'll go into a hopper line that a item elevator that go up into a sorting system and again, the, the AFK room is going to be down here, but right now it's occupied by a bunch of lava. So we have to take care of that. So anyway, uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and this is the Guardian Farm. There we go. Thank you. Bye.